Got yourself one of these. Vortex 150. I'm here to tell you, you're going to love this little bad boy as soon as you get it running. But you're watching this video because, like me, you were stuck. Uh, you got an RXSR receiver, FR Sky. You probably got it like me because it's tiny. It's not going to add a lot of weight. It's new. Um, probably like me, you watched a video on you know how you're going to get the thing set up. And probably like me, you're about losing the rest of your hair, uh, trying to figure out why you can't get through the wizard. Well, I wasted the better part of a day trying to figure this out, looking at videos, going onto websites, looking at videos again, um, just to find out I made a really dumb mistake, uh, one that you know only a noob like me can make, I'm imagining. Uh, but uh, if you're having the same problem, maybe this is you too, and maybe I can help out. You want to waste as much time as I did. Uh, so here's where I bought my little 150 at Flight Test. Got a shout out to these guys. They're great. Um, as you can see, uh, you have some options there, and one of the options is the RXSR. Could have gotten the XSR, could have gotten the XR4. Could have gotten any number of things, but I went with the RXSR like you did, because that's why you're watching this. Started to install it, found this great video put out by Flight Test to help me through the steps, took out the Spectrum cord that was already in there, just like they said, put in the FR Sky cord, just like they said, and that is where the problems began. I got into the wizard. It starts searching for the RX. It can't find it. It can't find it. It can't find it. I watch it go past S bus again and again and again till I want to poke my eyes out. So somewhere along the way, I got the idea to go look at the manual. And as you can see, the included cable that they give you for the FR Sky receiver is for the XSR. And I started looking at the RXSR versus the XSR and thinking, what could be different? It doesn't specifically mention the RXSR in the manual. It wasn't out when the manual was written. So maybe there's a difference. Lo and behold, there is a difference and a very important one. While you can use the supplied connector for the XSR on the RXSR because they both use the exact same five pin Pico blade, the XSR has a different pin assignment for the S bus than the RXSR does. And that was the problem for me. And I hope it is the problem for you because it's a relatively easy fix. You just have to tie some wires together. So when we look at the RXSR and the XSR side by side, it's easy to see that you've got your ground, your five volt port, your S port, and then things get different. On the RXSR, the fourth pin is S bus out CPPM, and the XSR is CPPM. On the RXSR, the S bus in is the fifth point pin, and on the XSR, the S bus is the fifth pin. You need your S bus out to be hooked up on the RXSR, but the supplied connector that's given to you for the XSR puts that S bus on the fifth pin, which is your S bus in on the RXSR. No way that's going to be able to trigger that wizard. You gotta move that connection over. The good news is you've already got everything you need. The RXSR comes with a five pin Pico blade already wired up and ready to connect to whatever type of connector you want. And you've got the connectors that already fit into the PDB for the Vortex 150 because the Vortex 150 came with a bunch of them. 
So you just decide which one you're going to sacrifice, wire it up so that the S bus is on the fourth pin, so that the S bus out slash CPPM pin leads to the signal pin on the PDB. Once you do that, you're good to go. I hope this helped you. Uh, I wasted a lot of time and energy on this problem. It was a dumb mistake, but there just wasn't anything out there to tell me what I had done wrong. And uh, I wanted to put this out there to make sure that that doesn't happen to you. So if you found this helpful, I, I'm just glad. Uh, happy flying.